Thank you for your interest in this presentation on the College of Licensed Practical Nurses of Manitoba's new Code of Ethics. As you are aware, the new Code of Ethics went into effect on December 1, 2014. This presentation has been developed to assist registrants of the college in understanding their responsibilities and accountability towards the new Code. As we move through the presentation, you may find it useful to have a copy of the Code of Ethics in front of you. The Code of Ethics can be found at our website at www.clpnm.ca. Please also feel free to pause the video at any time. The College of Licensed Practical Nurses' new Code of Ethics went into effect on December 1, 2014, in preparation for transitioning to the Regulated Health Professions Act. Earlier this year, the new Code of Ethics was placed on the CLPNM website so that licensed practical nurses, employers, and members of the public could comment on and validate the new code. On June 2, 2014, the new Code of Ethics was voted in at the CLPNM Annual General Meeting. This new Code of Ethics will replace the current Code of Ethics, designed for licensed practical nurses and graduate practical nurses, as well as the Student Code of Ethics. This means that all members of the College of Licensed Practical Nurses of Manitoba, regardless of role or setting, will be accountable to the new Code. As mentioned earlier, the Code of Ethics was developed in preparation for transitioning to the Regulated Health Professions Act, also known as the RHPA. Currently, there are 22 different regulated health professions in Manitoba, each of them with their own acts and regulations. The licensed practical nurse, being one of the 22 regulated health professions, is currently regulated by the Licensed Practical Nursing Act. The RHPA is a new act that, once it has been fully implemented, will govern the practice of all regulated health professions in Manitoba. It has been introduced to standardize the way health professions regulate and increase public protection and accountability. The RHPA will replace the acts of 22 regulated health professions in Manitoba, placing them under one umbrella legislation. The RHPA is being rolled out incrementally, meaning that they are only looking at a few professions at a time. Although it does not currently apply to LPNs, it soon will, so preparations have begun to prepare CLPNM and the practice of practical nursing within the scope of the new law. If you are interested in getting more information on the RHPA, please click on the link below the video. Before we can get into the details of the new Code of Ethics, it is important to have an understanding of what ethics are. Ethics is the philosophical study of morals and values. When we are discussing ethics, we are discussing the difference between what is right and what is wrong. In nursing, ethics are the values and standards that the profession strives to uphold. It is the study of good conduct, character, and motives. Nurses are continually faced with decisions about the right course of action in healthcare, and therefore must have a good understanding of ethics. One of the key aspects of ethics is the concept of values. So what are values? Values are strong personal beliefs. They are the ideals that a person or group strives to uphold. Values shape our beliefs of what we think is right and what we think is wrong, and are therefore the foundation of ethics. Because of the intimacy of the nurse-client relationship, nurses must have a keen understanding of values. Specifically, the nurse must recognize their own personal values, the values of their clients, the practical nursing professional values as outlined in the CLPNM Code of Ethics, and the values of other stakeholders such as employers, organizations, and other members of the healthcare team. Professional values are the moral beliefs of the practical nursing profession as a whole. They are the broad ideals of nursing care that have been established as reasonable directions for practice. For practical nursing, they are the ideals that the profession strives to uphold and have been outlined in the CLPNM Code of Ethics. Although each individual has their own values and moral beliefs of what is right and what is wrong, as an LPN you are expected to adopt the values of the practical nursing profession as outlined in the Code of Ethics. This image represents the College of Licensed Practical Nurses of Manitoba's new Code of Ethics. The image is intended to show the relationship between values of the nursing profession and the ethical standards we will be discussing during this session. The values themselves are outlined in the center of the image. They are the foundation for the ethical beliefs of the profession of practical nursing. As the values are the broad ideals of the profession, they are then built into the ethical standards which assist practical nurses in upholding the professional values. For example, one of the key values of the practical nursing profession is privacy and confidentiality. This value is represented in practice through the ethical standard of ethical management of personal information. We will discuss the ethical standards and the nurse's responsibility to the standards in detail on a later slide. Nurses as individuals have their own personal values. Personal values are the moral beliefs of an individual. They are what you feel is right and wrong and are unique to each person. Although each person has their own personal values, they are influenced by societal and cultural norms and can change over time. 
As nurses are constantly being faced with ethical decisions throughout the course of their day, it is important that they have an understanding of their own personal values. Just as each nurse is unique and has their own unique beliefs of what is right and wrong, so do our clients. In their role as client advocates, nurses must recognize their clients' beliefs and strive to uphold their personal values even if it conflicts with their own. As we outlined earlier, nurses must have a keen understanding of their own personal values, their clients' values, the profession's values, and their stakeholders' values in order to provide ethical care. When the values of everyone involved in the care are similar, this process is straightforward and the care can occur without issue. However, ethical dilemmas occur when there is a conflict between two sets of values. Generally in this situation, both sets of values can be seen as good, yet neither of which can be fully satisfied. Ethical dilemmas are commonly seen in healthcare and are regularly seen when the nurse's personal values conflict with their client's values. Resolving ethical dilemmas can be difficult, but the new code of ethics provides direction on how to resolve ethical dilemmas when they arise. The nurse themselves must provide a careful and critical reflection of the dilemma. This requires negotiating differences between beliefs, values, and opinions. In order to make clear decisions that benefit our clients, the nurse must have a clear understanding of their own personal values, the values of their client, and the CLPNM Code of Ethics. It is important for the nurse to note that they are accountable to and should refer to the Code of Ethics for ethical decision making. The CLPNM Code of Ethics is built off of the values of the profession of practical nursing and serves as the foundation for the nurse's professional practice. It outlines the profession's commitment to respect, promote, protect, and uphold the fundamental rights of people who are both recipients and the providers of health care. It describes the accepted standard for ethical decision making, ethical practice, and the professional conduct expected of nurses. It also provides a framework for the professional integrity, accountability, and responsibility of the nurse in all healthcare settings and can be used as a tool to guide the nurse in ethical decision making. All registrants of the College of Licensed Practical Nurses of Manitoba in all roles and settings are held accountable for understanding, upholding, and promoting the ethical standards of the profession. Much like the standards of practice, practical nurses in all roles and settings are held accountable for understanding and adhering to the new code of ethics. This includes all active practicing LPNs, graduate practical nurses, and student practical nurses. This slide outlines the eight values of the practical nurse in Manitoba. As mentioned earlier, the values of the practical nurse in Manitoba, as outlined in the CLPNM Code of Ethics, are the foundation of their professional practice. For practical nursing, they are the moral ideals for nursing care that the profession strive to uphold. Please take a moment to review the values now. You may wish to pause the video before moving on. The ethical standards are based on the values of the practical nursing profession in Manitoba. Where the values are the foundation of ethical practice, the ethical standards are developed to assist the profession in upholding these values in their day-to-day -day practice. The role of the ethical standards are to express the ideals for nursing care and to establish reasonable direction for practice. As practical nurses are accountable to the CLPNM Code of Ethics, the ethical standards, much like the standards of practice, are also outlined to govern the conduct of the college's members. This slide outlines the six ethical standards of the practical nurse in Manitoba. Each of the standards represents the ethical values of the practical nurse so that they can be utilized in their practice. For example, as practical nurses value compassionate care, the ethical standard of compassionate, safe, ethical, and competent care was developed as a standard to represent this value in practice. Under each of the ethical standards is a statement that is used to describe what is meant to summarize the standard itself. For example, under people-centered approach, is the statement, nurses empower and enable people to maintain, promote, and protect their health and well-being. The ethical responsibilities of the practical nurse are described under each of the ethical standards. Much like the indicators under each of the standards of practice, the ethical responsibilities are essential in outlining how nurses meet their ethical standards in their daily practice. The nurse is held accountable to each of the ethical responsibilities outlined in the Code of Ethics. The responsibilities can be utilized in the nurse's practice when they are confronted with an ethical dilemma. The CLPNM Code of Ethics is designed to assist practical nurses in providing safe, competent, and ethical care. The values of the profession are the broad ideals of nursing that the profession strive to uphold. The ethical standards and responsibilities assist the nurse in upholding these values in their daily practice. In the following slides, we will be outlining the ethical standards and responsibilities of the CLPNM Code of Ethics. For each of the ethical responsibilities, please read them starting with the nurse. For example, the first responsibility under Respect and Dignity reads, The nurse recognizes and respects the inherent worth of each person. 
As there are several responsibilities outlined under each standard, you may wish to pause the video to review them before moving on. The first ethical standard is people-centered approach. Nurses empower and enable people to maintain, promote, and protect their health and well-being. This slide identifies the responsibilities of the practical nurse for the ethical standard of people-centered approach. The standard of people-centered approach has three subcategories representing how nursing care is people-centered. As indicated by the subcategories of respect and dignity, information, and participation, the standard of people-centered approach focuses on respecting the rights and values of our client with a client-centered focus. Each of the responsibilities indicated under the subcategory of respect and dignity indicate the nurse's commitment to respecting rights, values, and beliefs of our clients and providing care without discrimination. Please pause the video to take a moment to read each of the ethical responsibilities outlined under this ethical standard. When you are ready to move on, please click play. The subcategory of information under the ethical standard of people-centered approach indicates the responsibility of the nurse to provide accurate, unbiased information to our clients. It recognizes our client's right to information and the nurse's responsibility in providing that information. Please pause the video to take a moment to read each of the ethical responsibilities outlined under this ethical standard. When you are ready to move on, please click play. The subcategory of participation under the ethical standard of people-centered approach outlines the nurse's responsibility for treating our clients as partners in their health care. It indicates our responsibility to assist our clients and their families in becoming more engaged in their health care. Please pause the video to take a moment to read each of the ethical responsibilities outlined under this ethical standard. When you are ready to move on, please click play. The next ethical standard is compassionate, safe, ethical, and competent care. Nurses are committed to providing quality, compassionate, safe, ethical, and competent care. The ethical responsibilities outlined under these standards on both this and the next slide recognize the nurse's commitment to providing compassionate, safe, ethical, and competent care. It states that nurses engage in compassionate care through the building of trusting relationships, takes all reasonable steps to avoid harm, and intervene to safeguard our client's safety advocates for the discussion of ethical issues and development of policies and procedures to promote safe care. Please take a moment to pause the video and read each of the responsibilities under this ethical standard. This slide lists the further responsibilities under the standard of compassionate, safe, ethical, and competent care. Please take a moment to pause and read this slide before moving on. The next ethical standard is the ethical management of personal information. Nurses manage the privacy and confidentiality of personal health information. The ethical responsibility for this standard outlined the nurse's accountability to respecting the rights of our clients' privacy, confidentiality, and access to their own personal health information. The nurse treats all personal health information gathered in the context of their professional relationship as confidential and uses judgment when sharing with others in the healthcare team. Please take a moment to pause the video and read each of the responsibilities under this ethical standard. This slide lists the further responsibilities under the standard of ethical management of personal health information. Please take a moment to pause and read this slide before moving on. The next ethical standard is collaboration with the healthcare team. Nurses encourage and support collaborative, comprehensive, and integrated healthcare. The responsibilities in this ethical standard outline the nurse's commitment to collaborating as part of a multidisciplinary healthcare team through respecting and properly communicating with other healthcare professionals. It also outlines the nurse's role as a mentor and role model to clients, learners, peers, and colleagues. Please take a moment to pause the video and read each of the responsibilities under this ethical standard. The ethical standard of professional integrity and conduct states that nurses act with integrity and are mindful of their professional conduct. This ethical standard outlines the nurse's responsibility to demonstrating honesty, integrity, and professionalism throughout their practice. It outlines the nurse's accountability to admitting to mistakes and minimizing client harm. It also indicates the nurse's responsibility to recognize their own fitness to practice, personal values, and beliefs to avoid having negative impact on the client care, nursing practice, and the practice environment. It also stresses putting the interest of the client above the nurse's own in their professional nursing practice. Please take a moment to pause the video and read each of the responsibilities under this ethical standard. 
This slide lists the further responsibilities under the standard of professional integrity and conduct. Please take a moment to pause and read the slide before moving on. The ethical standard of professional responsibility and accountability state that nurses, as members of a self-regulated profession, are responsible for knowing the code of ethics, are accountable for their actions and decisions, and are answerable to the CLPNM for their practice. Much like with people-centered care, professional responsibility and accountability has three subheadings, indicating the professional responsibility and accountability of practical nurses. The first subheading, the nursing profession, outlines the nurse's responsibility to the professional requirements of belonging to a regulated profession, including practicing within laws and regulations, the scope of practice, and the standards of practice. Please take a moment to pause the video and read each of the responsibilities under this ethical standard. The second subcategory under the standard of professional responsibility and accountability is continuing competence. The responsibilities outlined under this ethical standard indicate the nurse's commitment to continued growth and development of the profession and participation in the CLPNM's continuing competency program. If you require further information about the CLPNM continuing competency program, it can be found on our website. Please take a moment to pause the video and read each of the responsibilities under this ethical standard. Finally, the subcategory of quality practice environments represents the nurse's responsibilities to participate in creating and maintaining safe working conditions for nurses and promoting practice environments which foster ethics, human rights, values, and beliefs. Please take a moment to pause the video and read each of the responsibilities under this ethical standard. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation on the College of Licensed Practical Nurses of Manitoba's new Code of Ethics. If you require any further information on the Code of Ethics, please feel free to contact the College at 204-663-1212 or toll-free 1-877-663-1212 or email at info at clpnm.ca. Thank you.